Right, today we're going to talk about the Omron H3CR timer uh, and what its application is, how it works, and how we can bench test it using our test box. So the H3CR timer, it's commonly used in drip and dosing applications where you don't necessarily want a time, like a Graslin timer, but you need a repeating cycle uh, timer uh, so that it works on and off and it just keeps doing that forever and ever as long as there's power uh, so it's a it's a really it's a really neat timer for that application it's a, and it's also extremely versatile in what those settings can be uh, so let's go around the timer and talk about how to set it and what each function does in the upper left corner you can see the on and off LED indicators uh, once it's lit up that's the cycle that it's in the bottom left, the tan screw, that's how you change the intervals on the clock face. I believe there's five different settings you can set it to. Uh, like right now, it's 0 to 12. Uh, the off cycle and the on cycle can be adjusted by the black screw. So I believe there's six settings. Uh, so right now, it's on hours and hours. The dials, the off is the green dial, which is the... The, the, the lower one, the red dial, which is your center one, is your on cycle. So if we were to set it right now, it'd be approximately six hours off and six hours on. Uh, so let's get into how, we're, how we use the test box, what the test box does. Uh, so the control switch on the side, that is going to allow power uh, to the timer and allow it to start running through its cycles. This indicator is a voltmeter, and it's going to tell you the voltage it's passing through the during the on cycle and show zero voltage at the off cycle. Uh, so that's handy because it tells you that everything's working as it should inside the timer itself. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do when we go to test it, we're going to inspect the base of it. We're going to make sure there's no dirt or debris, make sure nobody dropped it in the mud or anything silly like that. If we can clean it, that's great. Uh, if it's damaged, uh, we don't want to test it because there's a potential that we could mess up our test box. Uh, so once we're, we've confirmed that that's good to go, we can go ahead and insert it straight into the octal base. Uh, just make sure it's all the way in and make sure it's firmly seated. Uh, our control switch is in the off position. So just for testing purposes, we're going to go ahead and set it to six seconds on and six seconds off. That way we can watch it flip back and forth between on and off and get a good feel of how it's working. Uh, so it's, like I said, set to six and six. So we're still in hours and hours. So we're gonna turn these clockwise with a small screwdriver until we get to seconds. And then we're gonna do it again for the on. So we're back to seconds there. So six seconds off, six seconds on. So once we apply power, it's gonna default to the off position, and, uh, and then we're going to see voltage come across once it cycles on. So you should see around 120 volts, give or take, you know, five or ten or so. Uh, so we're going to turn this on. So you can see the LED is off. About six seconds later, it switched to on, and we have 119 volts. So about six seconds later, it's going to turn back off and we lose voltage. So that's the, that's the repeating cycle behind the Omron timer and its design. And it's just going to keep doing that on and off and on and off and until you take power away or tell it not to by float or anything else. That's about it. Thank you very much.